Hello, Accelerators. It's Mindset Monday. I'm Diane Bula, and I'm here to talk to you about the notion of failing. So I had a artistic fail this weekend. Let me tell you a little bit about the story, because at the end of the story, one of the things that I learned, which is most important for mindset, is we either win or we learn. So let me lay it out. My plan was to carve a pumpkin, sculpt a pumpkin more realistically. I wasn't making a jack-o'-lantern. I wanted to carve an image on the outside of a pumpkin. So like break through the skin and then make a three-dimensional face on my pumpkin. Okay, sounds pretty easy, right? I'm an artist. I work with people's faces all the time. Well, not so much now in the pandemic, but prior to that, I can certainly put makeup on a person and turn them into a dog. So the way I figured, this is the mascot for the Cleveland Browns. And I figured, how hard can it be to take a pumpkin and turn it into a dog? So I made one trip to Michael's. I bought some tools. I looked to see if there were any books, but there weren't. I did get some tools that had some sketches in the back that I could use as a stencil to transfer a Halloween pattern onto my pumpkin. Sadly, that's not really what I was looking for because this was the design that I wanted to sculpt. And the reason that I wanted to put that design on a pumpkin is because I was gonna go to a small football gathering on Sunday. So it's Friday night, I watched a bunch of YouTube videos. Saturday morning, I got up, I went to the pumpkin patch. I now knew how to pick out a pumpkin. I paid for my pumpkin, came home, and watched some more YouTube videos, just so that I could make sure I was truly ready. And what I discovered is that I wasn't ready, and I needed to go back to Michael's for a second time and search for more supplies. On that trip, I discovered that the closest thing I could find to the supplies for manipulating modeling clay was going to be a pottery set that I think is designed to be used when you're making clay pottery. So it was a sponge and it was like this um, bone type folding tool. And there were a few um, little carving tools that had hooks on them like this. I was confident. So back home I went, I now have my tools, I have my pumpkin, I have my education, I have the desire because I really have been thinking about this for like three days now. The last thing before I went to bed every night last week was that I was going to carve a pumpkin. I could see the image of the carved pumpkin in my head, okay? I was ready, put out my paper, got my apron on, and the first thing I discovered is I could not get this pattern onto the pumpkin, all right? So I realized that since I can't transfer this onto the pumpkin, because I didn't have any transfer paper, and I wasn't quite sure how else to get it on there, I was gonna do my pumpkin freehand. I'm an artist, right? So I started. I took off all the outside rind, and then I started using the tools that would take out or carve the grooves into my pumpkin. And my intention was that everything is black in this picture, I was going to carve out of the pumpkin and then carve in. And then everything that was orange would be the outside surface, okay? So this would be the dimension that you would be sunken in and the orange would be out. Sounds great. I kept on carving and I noticed that my tools were not designed perfectly for this job, okay? Now, I'm not the sort of person that says that the magic is all in the brush. I don't think the magic's in the brush. I think the magic is in the human. So I decided to forgive these tools and keep going. But sadly, I just kept on scraping and kept on scraping and kept on scraping. And I was trying to make that groove even deeper and smoother. And what was happening was it was taking chunks of the pumpkin out in big pieces, this little tiny tool. And then disaster struck. Right when I was working on the outside corner of his eye, I managed to shove the tool right into the pumpkin. <laughs> now that, when you're sculpting a pumpkin, is not supposed to happen. 
you're not supposed to break through. You're supposed to be working all on the outside of the pulp or the meat, if you were. And at that point, I realized there wasn't much I could do than glue and pulp back into the hole. And that wasn't going to look right. I was absolutely mortified. I literally sat and looked at that pumpkin for a good 15 minutes and decided that I was a complete artistic fail. I beat myself up all over the place, figuratively, not literally, because as you can see, I have no bruises. I told myself I'm no longer an artist. I told myself I had no creativity left. I told myself that it had been so long since I'd done anything artistic because of the pandemic that I didn't have the capabilities anymore, okay? I told myself that I stink. But then the next morning when I got up, I was back to being a fighter. So I realized that the advice that I give to all of you is the advice I needed to take myself. And that is that you don't have to get it right from the get-go. You just got to get it going. So on Sunday, in an attempt to redeem myself, I thought about going out and getting another pumpkin, searching far and wide for a smaller set of tools. And then I just said, no, there's another thing that I know that I can do, and I am going to do that. I know I'm good at it. I know I won't fail. And I know that I'll be pleased with the result. So what did I do? I headed into the bathroom with my trusty mascot design, and I painted my face as the Browns Bulldog mascot. And that's the way that I went to the party. Now, you might under not be able to figure out what the business moral to the story is here. So I will tell it to you, all right? I needed to do something simple. I needed to remind myself I had artistic talent. I needed to feel accomplished. And since I didn't have my gift of the carved pumpkin to give to the host of the event that I was going to, where I was socially distancing watching a football game on TV with other people, I needed to do something that would show them that I had the intention to create an artistic gift for them. So I painted my face. I did it something really simple. It was a little bit harder than usual because it's been since, oh my goodness, March since I painted my face. But I did it and everybody recognized it as the Browns mascot. Now, sadly, the Browns lost that day. And maybe that's because of the negativity I had brought down on myself. I don't know. Maybe that transferred through the universe and gave my football team a difficult time. I don't know. But what I did learn is that if you don't have the capability of figuring it out for yourself, I can help. And right now, I'm offering an ebook that's going to help you pivot your business to something more successful. You can get it right here on my website, accelerateyoursuccessprogram.com. It's a freebie. It's right on the first page. And in that pivot pack are some exercises that you can do to help ascertain what you could do different than what you used to do in order to earn a living and share your creative joys with the world. If it's pumpkin carving, pumpkin sculpting, or doing anything with pumpkins, God bless you. I'm not so sure if I'm gonna have another go at it, but I probably will. And who knows, maybe this time I'll come up with that perfect mascot to take to next week's football game. I'm Diane Spadola. It's Mindset Monday. Remember, we either win or we learn. See you next week.